New at six, the fight to protect wild horses on the Outer Banks gets political. Two weeks ago, North Carolina passed a resolution asking the U.S. Senate to pass the Kerala Wild Horses Protection Act. But the Senate decided not to move forward with it. Horse enthusiasts, though, aren't done fighting. Ten of your side, Stephanie Harris, has been looking into this and how anyone who wants to can help, Steph. That's right, Tom. Well, the horses we're talking about here, they roam freely on the Outer Banks from Duck to Kerala. If you go there, there's a good chance you're going to see one of these majestic colonial Spanish Mustangs. According to advocates, the Kerala Wild Horses Protection Act is critical to the horses' long-term survival. They're not asking the government for money. Instead, this act would create a herd with fewer birth defects by pulling horses from other barrier islands to breed with the Kerala ones, thus protecting the population and creating a larger herd. Without this act being passed, the Kerala wild horses are pretty much doomed to a genetic collapse. We already know through genetic testing that we have one of the most highly inbred herds anywhere. We know we need to have introductions of horses from Shackleford Banks into our herd. And we know we need to have a minimum herd size of 120 to 130. Once a year, the Kerala Wild Horse Fund sends a helicopter to fly over the more than 7,000 acres of wild horse territory to get an official horse count. As of July 1st, just two weeks ago, that number was only 101. Not enough to ensure a healthy herd. Their only hope now is for Senator Kay Hagan to move the act through the Senate as a standalone bill. The group is asking for anyone interested to contact their congressman and or to make a donation to that fund. You'll find a link on wavy.com. Stephanie Harris, 10 on your side.